Hello friends, this video on soil part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with the properties of sandy soil. The sandy soil, the word sandy comes from sand. And what, what could you think of when you uh, hear, when you get this term sand? Sand would remind you of a desert. So you would have seen sand there, right? So it's like part, you can act, if you take sand in your hand, you can actually feel the presence of some particles in it. So you can feel the coarse texture of sand. So let's see what is sandy soil. It is well aerated. Now when we are talking about sandy soil, we are talking about the soil which has more number of bigger particles. So obviously this sand, this soil is not going to be very, you know, very powdery. It is going to be something where you can feel the presence of particles because the particles are big enough. And that is what happens when you take sand in your hand. You can actually feel the presence of particles. It is not very powdery, very smooth. So. This is, let us say, the example of arrangement of sandy soil. So inside sandy soil, these are the particles which are big enough. And since the particles are big enough, therefore the spaces between the particles are also big enough. Now, what do we do with these spaces? So these spaces can hold air. So air will be present in these spaces. So that is why this type of soil is well aerated. So sufficient amount of air is present in this soil, in these kind of soils, that is in sandy soil. Do not retain water. However, they are not very good at holding water. Why? Do you know why? That's because now in this case, since the particle size are big, most of the particles are big in size. Therefore, these particles do not fit very closely together. You see, lot of open spaces in between. Now, since there are a lot of open spaces, whenever you put water on this type of soil, what happens? Water will quickly pass down through these empty spaces. So basically, water will drain down through this type of soil. So the soil will not be able to hold any water because the spaces between the particles are big, very big. So water drain quickly through these spaces between the sand particles. And therefore, since it cannot hold water, so it does not remain wet because there is no water inside it. Even if you put water on sand, it will very quickly drain through it and it will reach underground. It will go very deep. Right, because we already saw how the soil layers are. So when you put water on the soil, it will very quickly go get deeper, deeper, deeper and it will finally reach the layer of rocks. That, that's all that will happen. So basically the soil will therefore remain dry because the soil is not containing any type of water. So it is very poor at retaining water or holding water. So this makes this soil quite dry. And that is why they are light in weight because the weight is only of the particles. There is no additional thing being present there. Now there is no water. Have you ever observed that if you have a dress, when you make it wet and you try to weigh it, it becomes heavier. Why? Because now it is the weight of the dress plus the weight of the water. So therefore it becomes heavy. Similarly, in case of soil also, a wet soil, a sample of wet soil will be heavier than a sample of dry soil. So these sandy soils, since they do not hold water, they do not retain water, therefore they are light in weight. However, sandy soil is the worst type of soil for plant growth. Do you know why? Because most of the plants need good amount of water for their growth and development. I am talking about most of the plants. However, there could be certain exceptions. So many plants need lot of water. Now this type of soil, if you plant, if you plant a tree in sandy soil, the tree will need a lot of water. But this soil, even if you, you are applying water to the soil, the soil is not able to retain the water. Therefore, the water is actually draining deep down. Therefore, water is not made available to the plants because plants are in touch with the upper layers of the soil, the A horizon and B horizon, that's it. But the water is actually not being retained in the A or B horizon, water is going deep inside. Therefore, this soil being very dry, do not allow roots of the plants to develop properly. So the roots are not able to get enough water, the roots are not able to establish uh, the, their connections with these dry sandy soils. So this is the reason that in deserts you really do not see a lot of trees. That's because desert has all, desert has sand all around. And sand again, being sandy soil, they do not retain water. They are not very suitable for growth of plants. 
The next type of soil is the clay soil. So it is going to be just the opposite of sandy soil. So we will now look at the properties of clay soil which is going to be just the reverse of sandy soil. <clears throat> so in this case there is very little water. Now what happens in case of clay soil? Now here as I have mentioned before that this kind of soil is made up of very tiny particles. So fine particles are present in this type of soil. So as a result if you look at it you see these are all tiny particles. So the spaces in between is very small but at the same time therefore the air is holding the spaces. So you see only very tiny spaces are there here and there. So in these tiny spaces only little amount of air can be present. So therefore they hold quite less air when compared to the sandy soil. Also here in this case the particles are packed very tightly together with little or no space for air. So that is why this is also the densiest soil because you can see the density is very high. So it is the densiest densiest soil and also heaviest soil. Now why is it heaviest? That's because it can retain a lot of water. Now how does it retain so much of water? How can it hold so much of water? That is because <clears throat> due to its high density it is very difficult for water droplets or air to penetrate into it. So they do not drain through it like how it was in case of sandy soil. In sandy soil the gaps were like quite big. So water would easily flow through the gaps. So the water would drain very quickly. But in this case that is not the case. The gaps are like very tiny. So if water enters into that gap. So let's suppose if water enters into this gap. So it, it kind of gets stuck. It cannot move beyond because again you do not see a consecutive gap anywhere. So that is why in each and every gap there is some water which gets you know kind of locked. So that's how we can say that this soil retains a lot of water. So within the soil you actually see a lot of water. Now since the soil contains so much of water therefore it also becomes heavy because now it is not only the weight of the soil but also the weight additional weight of water. So that means it is densiest as well as heaviest. It is very heavy as I mentioned just now. Now <clears throat> there are many plants which grow on clay soil specifically plants which need a lot of water. Now as I have mentioned before also that different plants have different requirements for their growth. Some plants need less water, some plants need more water. So those plants which need more water they grow better on clay soil. So especially ferns and some other plants they generally grow on clay soil and this type of soil is also used for making pottery. So you would have seen the earthen pots and vessels which are prepared using soil. So sandy soil will not be a good choice because with them they do not you know retain water. But this soil since it retains water so you can actually you know it's like you can give it a shape and uh, that's how it can be uh, quite tough as well. So it is used for all these kind, making all kind of uh, pots. The third type of soil that is loamy soil and this soil holds the right amount of water. Now what do we mean by right amount of water? Now till now we saw that sandy soil does not hold water at all. Clay soil holds a lot of water. So loamy soil is like kind of intermediate between the two. So it holds more water than sandy soil but less than that of clay soil. So it is like the perfect amount of water is being held by loamy soil. So what is this soil actually? This soil consists of equal number of big particles and small particles. So as you can see in the picture both big and small particles are present here. In fact, we can say that this soil is the perfect soil for growth of plants because it contains the exact amount of water that is needed by the plants. It also contains the right amount of nutrients. It also contains humus which improves the you know uh, fertility of the soil. So basically loamy soil contains sand. It also contains clay. It also contains humus. It also contains silt. So silt is something new so we will discuss it right away. So sand which was present in the sandy soil, clay which was present in clay soil. So these two things we have already seen. Humus this is nothing but uh, the 
decaying plant and animal remains so it improves the fertility of the soil so it basically improves the quality of the soil for better growth of crops and what about silt so silt is also a kind of particle where the it, it is like generally a deposit which is more, mostly seen in the river beds and the size of the particles in silt is between sand and clay like in case of sand the particles are like quite big in case of clay the particles are very tiny so silt is somewhere in between the size of particles of a sand and that of a clay so it, it generally occurs as soil or as uh, a suspension mixed with water in water bodies especially rivers so mostly it is seen in the river beds so due to the appropriate size of the particle of the silt, it is also beneficial because as, as you are seeing that the size of the particle decides the property of that particular type of soil. Now all these things together compose the loamy soil. Now however, the specific composition may vary like how much sand, how much clay, how much silt. So that composition might vary but if some amount of compost is added to it then it becomes the perfect thing for growth of most of the plants so loamy soil is something which is in demand by most of the plants because generally all plants can grow within loamy soil because here it has got both uh, it has got the advantages of both sandy soil as well as clay soil so that's about loamy soil thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.